All right, this is Rick Drury with Classic Auto Insurance. I'm here at Detroit Autorama 2020, and I'm here with Mike at uh, Kiker's Rod and Custom. Yes, sir. All right. Um, Mike's going to tell us a little bit about this very cool Ford Ranger behind us. Uh, you got to tell me, when did it come into the shop, and what kind of condition was it in when you got it? Well, this, this idea hatched itself about five years ago. Okay. And we started building on it a little over two years ago. We was looking for a donor pickup truck. Okay. This actually started life as a 69 F100 long bed pickup. You're kidding. No, sir. <laughs> we shortened it, put a full frame, yeah. Austin chassis works frame under it. Okay. People come up and ask us, is it a Bronco? No, it is not. It's a one-off. We wanted to build something that we thought Ford would have built back in the day. Very cool, yeah. The roof is actually off of a 72 Ford van. We extended the roof ribs over into the top of the cab of the pickup truck, tied them together. That gave it a little bit of strength, plus gave it a line. All right. The back hatch is actually the back glass part of the original truck cab. It's been widened and stretched. The window opening stretched open. That is so cool. <laughs> now, where'd the idea come from? It, it, the guys, we just started talking about a vehicle. We wanted to do a one-off to bring to Detroit to yeah. shoot for a grade eight. Okay. And, and that's how the idea got started. My buddy, Keith, who owns Kiker Rod and Custom, yeah. he said, you know, he said, I love the front of those old Ford trucks, the late 60s, early 70s. So that's how the thing got started. And so we started looking for, like I say, for the donor truck and looking for a donor van because we started doing some dimensions and stuff. Yeah. And that's how we came up with the idea of the brand thing. Okay. We wanted to keep the drip rail thing. Yeah. Most people shave them off. We right. wanted to keep it look like something Ford would do. Right, factory. Actually, the engine thing, yeah. we talked about a Coyote and a six-speed, which would have probably been killer to drive. Right. But that wouldn't have been something Ford did back in 69. Right. So what'd you go with? We went to a 429 with a C6 behind it. It's actually carbureted, not fuel injected, but it sounds wonderful. I'm but, telling you, it's got uh, a killer sound. Yeah, true. Yeah, I love I love the sounds of the big block. That's my thing. That's cool. Now, what kind of suspension do we run? It's got an Austin chassis, works full chassis under it. Okay. Four wheel disc. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. We had to modify some stuff, but that's okay. what we started with. All right. And uh, who did the interior for you? Speedway seat covers from Johnson City, Tennessee. Yeah, that is very Thank you so fun. much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Ray does a good job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how did you come up with the color? Did you come up with uh, well, the color you thought Ford would do? Or well, it... you know, the pastel colors are starting to kind of make a comeback. Right. And back in the day, Ford kind of had a color like that, a tan-looking color. Yeah. They had the light greens, if you remember, and the light blues and right. stuff. So we kind of looked at a, a palette, and we kind of narrowed it down to a gray and a tan-looking color. Camp this. this is actually a late model Toyota pickup truck color. Really? Yep. It looks it's like called it uh, quicksand, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. It looks like it should be a Ford color, though. Well, actually, when Ford reintroduced the Ranger, yeah. we already had the first coat of paint on, and now they've got a tan looking color. <laughs> we were just a little bit early on that's that. All right, you beat them to yeah. the punch. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Well, that is so cool. It, it's a gorgeous truck. Thank you so uh, much. And I'm sure it's a uh, uh, being judged well it has to because the fit and finish that's impressive they uh what i'm looking at is the glass and everything the way that it fit everything fits that's off the charts thank you so much we appreciate that yeah well done man appreciate you taking time to talk to us come by and see us yeah and uh, do you have a website or anything nope no, not so far kikers rod and custom Kiker Rock, Kiker Rock, Telford, tennessee okay all right remember that my buddy's got a business card if you'd like that i so. will get one all right. All right. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Mike, man. Appreciate Great work. You guys. Thank you. Yep. Classic Auto. Agreed value, mileage rollover, and tiered mileage plans. Classic Auto. Insuring your vehicle. Insuring your passion. Call or click Classic Auto today.